Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutler. Hey, 22 veterans a day in this country commit suicide. It's a number staggering, and it's a number we're going to talk about every day because I have just, I've just got this weight on my heart. Veterans, I love you. God knows I do. I appreciate your service and your sacrifice, and I know, I know there's a thing about that, and, and sometimes people say that flippantly. I promise you I am not. I've not seen what you've seen. I've not been where you've been. I don't pretend to. Never been in the military. And at 50, probably never will or 49. But I love you and you have a place here. You fought for us. Let us fight for you. The only way I can do that now is by raising awareness. We back the blue here. Scab, how do you do that? It's simple, guys. We don't break the damn law. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Finally, if you're an addict, never quit quitting. All-time favorite saying, because it'll stick one time. Dude, I, I, I fumble and I stumble and I have for years, but I continue to, to, to keep going. Why? And I just looked at it because there's a picture of Megatron and I on the wall and my marriage and, and she and my family and just being alive means more to me than doing a line of coke or meth or, or pills or whatever. So having all that said, let's jump into the video. Now, what I wanted to do is to do just a few quick hitter tests on the roach belly because we're doing this giveaway tomorrow. And then I thought, you know what, Scab? You doing anything quick ain't, ain't, ain't you. So we're gonna do a, 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 a pretty pretty full review. It may be missing a few things. Um, I did a paper cutting test and I had to cheat a little bit, held the paper. That That is, uh, that's my fault, but it cut the paper, cut it clean. Now, I made an amendment this morning. Let me, let me say this at the start of this video. Yesterday, when I was opening the box or saying something about the sharpness, I said it's 4116 and it's not very sharp. That My intention was to never blame the steel for the sharpness. Never. Uh, the sharpness of these knives, when they leave the factory, is on homeboy that sharpened it, or homegirl, or whatever they identify as. I, we're not here to judge that. So... Uh, that's on me. That, that is a that is a, a, a misspeak. And I went back and watched the video. And honest to God, the way I framed it, I'd have thought the same thing. Was not saying that. I like 4116. It's stainless now. It is full tank, no sir. Mm -mm, mm -mm, sure not. So we're not going to go out and cut a bunch of trees with it. I've seen several people say, oh, it's a good kitchen knife, or it's a good knife for lady, or it's a good knife. And, and I'm sure that it is. We're going to find out. But I tell you what else. Uh, when you get these knives like this, let me let me tell you. Cause first thing, the next thing people say, "Oh, it's good, good self defense." Well, I, you know, how many damn times you got to defend yourself with a knife? I mean, if you got to defend yourself more than once, twice in your lifetime with a knife, you you need to start looking at your life's choices. I'm just saying, just saying. Um, now, having come from somebody that spin stand and cut, uh, two totally different things. I didn't appreciate either one. They both hurt like hell. Y'all can do that tough guy shit all you want. I did accidentally one time stick one in the guy's leg. You know, it was, you know, it just pure accidentally on purpose. But uh, it's not a thing you enjoy. Because I'm going to tell you something. Here's the deal with this. You know how when you stick it in somebody, well, most people don't. When you stick it in, and this is just what I've read, the muscle will contract, and sometimes you can't pull it out. In a fight, and sweating, and in all that, with this plastic handle, because this ain't no nylon reinforced shit. This is a plastic handle, Okay. I was wrong on the machetes, I ain't wrong on this. You ain't pulling this out, son. But I tell you what, if you take out look, if you take this little sheath like this here. Now, what I do with these kind, because they suck, is I'll stick it inside my pants there. My pocket. That way if I well, I shouldn't have done that on the damn left side. I'm severely right hand dominant. Shouldn't have done that either. You may not want to stick this in your pocket. You may want to just clip it on your belt like you got common sense or hell. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to stick it right here. Now, quick deploy, and just stick in there pretty good. That's dangerous shit right there. I don't even know why. All right, so I'm going to click it out right there. Just like that. So you tell me. Knives are not defense weapons, guys. They're offensive weapons because we don't believe in defense around here. You jump on me, I'm coming for your ass. That ain't tough guy, that ain't that ain't tough video guy, that's just the truth. I'm fat and I'm old and at the end of the day, old scab's going home. Well, hey, 
let's quit on the tough guy stuff because I despise it. Enjoy the cutting. Let me know what you think. In the morning sometime or early afternoon, I'll do the giveaway, and we're giving one of these away, and I'm excited to do it. So go on to the video from Thursday night. Was it Thursday night or was it last night? I think it was last night. I don't know. It'll say Cold Steel Roach Billy Giveaway. Comment on that video to be entered in. And in the morning, I'll count up because there are several that said, hey, Scab, uh, count us out. We just wanted to comment, which is greatly appreciated. I'll count up the guys who's in there. There's the dogs. Listen, I'm Scab. You're not. Enjoy the cutting. We go. Well, thank you for that fine intro, Scab. Here we go with our paper cutting test. Oops, let me spit it out. Paper cutting test with a roach. Uh, belly knife from cold steel here we go let's see what we got here steady hand well, we got nothing 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 up oh, and right there the knife folded and I was gonna try to cheat that didn't work so let's spin it around one thing the key to this is to make sure that edge is nice and crisp there we go now we're started and it's just moving on through now 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 this is where you see me now now I held it a little bit, get it, applying a little pressure, and it cut clean through. That's not the way you want to do this test. I'm fully aware of that. But that piece of paper just wasn't cooperating. Now, here's my warthog. Just a few quick swipes through here. There we go. And I go back one time, just nice and light. Uh, people say, oh, you can't do that. Well, let's see if it helps any. And then tell me I can't. You can tell me I can't anyway. I just did it. So here we go. Making sure that edge is nice and crisp. Boop, 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 doo, doo. Here we go. Steady hand by old scabber. There we go. Once you got it started now, you're in pretty good shape. I will say this. If the handle was a little bit longer, it'd help because my fat hand keep going in there hitting the paper. So it cut it all the way down. Cut it all the way down and there it finally lost it. So what I did then is just turned it up and zip right through there. So the edge is much better than what it was last night. And again, my fault, not the 4116. So here we go. Now we're back to our basic everyday test. We're going to cut some nylon rope. And we're probably going to cut it about 10 times because I don't know how to do something two or three times and let it ride. There we go. Some nice cuts. It blew right through this stuff. This is like that ski rope or whatever. It's really nothing to it. But it is a good little test to show. Plus, I like, you know, cutting stuff. So there we go. Now, I had cut a few uh, branches down today because remember now, I'm getting that uh, Undertaker buoy in today. I think it's already showed up. So tomorrow, I'll have a few of these for, for, for testing. Now, this thing's just slicing right through there. This is a Skinner. Thank you to Mark Rhodes for letting me know that Roach was the designer. And, of course, the belly of the blade. And it, it definitely looks like a Skinner. Now, the test that I did are tests that I use every day. Um, now, I don't skin sticks back every day, but, you know, just some just some stuff. I do cut wood every day with a knife, just about every day, trying to get to a utility. Um, here's the Donnie B all day drop test. Uh, it's a must-have in the knife world. you got to have the D-Bad drop test. Shows great balance. I'm holding it up about three feet off the, the wood now. Here's where I screwed up. Yep. You can't throw it into a truck bed, scab. boy. So let's turn the target around. And again, I could have edited that out, but what good would that have done you? About the same amount of good as watching it, did you? But, you know, here we go. Just some quick toss. I don't really want to tear it up. Now, nice stabby stab there and stabby stab there. So, yeah, it'll stab. And I like cutting bottles like this. This does kind of show how sharp the knife still is. Glides right through there. Nice even cuts all the way. And it's a good handling knife. Now, for my hands, the handle's just maybe a half inch too small. But that's not to say it couldn't be used like, and many people said a camp knife or, you know, cook knife or something like that. I definitely see that. Uh, it is cold steel made, so it is pretty rugged. It's got some decent jimping on there. And again, just showing some cuts right here. We did a couple different tests with it um, that I hope would help you out and hope that you know show a few things right here and i don't know what the hell is. oh yeah cutting the bottle in half here we go no water in it just cutting it around there holding it up there we go 
Reminds me of them knives when you was a kid, you know, where the guy cut the can and the tomato and all that. Oh, there's Megatron. I'm glad we got her in here. Meg's going to demonstrate cutting up an apple with the old roach belly. She was, still thought the name was stupid, but, you know, she agreed to help. Now, these are Cosmic Crisp apples. These are some of her favorites. Uh, nobody in the house gets to eat these except her, except when she does stuff like this, and I get them anyway. So, you see the knife going to work. I wanted to show you all some food prep. It's Friday. Uh, Megatron works five days a week, so our Fridays we do... Uh, Tijuana Flats, so wasn't much food prep going on, so we thought this Cosmic Crisp would be a good one. Knife handled really well. She was impressed with it, really didn't have any drag. Now again, y'all seen where the knife started last night. I did clean it up and clean the edge up a little bit. Uh, a lot of times, Cold Steel's budget knives are project knives, and that's okay. Um, I still think it's an awesome knife. I, I'm still glad to give one away. I really am because um, I think it'd come in handy for somebody. Now, go to the contest, or go to the, the video that says Cold Steel Roach Belly Giveaway, and comment anything you want on there to get you in the drawing. Well, listen, guys, I love y'all. God bless y'all. I hope this test showed you a few things. Hey, Donnie B. All Day and Jimmy Slash, Josh at Jimmy Slash did tests on it. You can check their videos out. Well, guys, listen, I love you. God bless you. I'm Scab. That's Megatron. You're not. Some we gone.